For example, we have the definition for do something A, and here we have the variable number. Number is a local variable uh, for the do something A function. This number is a global variable, and here inside of do something A, we have the definition for do something B. That includes the definition for another variable with the name number, and over here the value of uh, this number is printed to the screen. The closest uh, number is the one that is printed to the screen. Now, uh, if I type over here the value of number, then here I actually print the value of uh, this number. Let's execute the code and see the output. So as you can see here, the value of this number is printed out and here the value of uh, this number. Well actually what we have here is a uh, definition for do something A, inside we have the definition for do something B and here after the definition of do something B, do something B is executed and only when it completes then this line is executed. So actually over here it is a different variable from this one. So we have 7 printed to the screen and then 99. Now let's say that we add the non-local statement for the number variable. Doing so, as you can see by the color, uh, this number is the same as this one, meaning that over here I actually assign the variable number that was created here with uh, 7 instead of 99. So here I should expect getting 7 printed to the screen and over here as well. So let's execute.